Oh, g'day. Keithy here. Thanks for joining me again. Glad to have you with me. So I got my bag ready to go. Time to go and uh, spend another week at work. But this is a common question that I've got. And Stephen, believe it or not, was the most recent to ask me this very question among the many, many other people who have sent me a message on Chilling with Keithy. And that is, what should I take when I fly in and out to the mines? Very good question. So I'll come up with an answer for you guys now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There, that side, this side, whichever side it may be. Appreciate your support, guys. Thanks very much. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit like too if you like the video and you want to see some more of that. Really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit down and relax, and we'll go through what you need to take to get into the mines, fly in and out. Go okay, so you're in the usual quarters for just a mining camp. The rooms aren't necessarily very big. They're not completely small, but don't expect to go to a five-star hotel when you're flying in and out of the mines. They only have to accommodate you and feed you and give you an air conditioner, and then their obligation is done. They don't have to provide you with a king size bed with the most luxurious mattress you've ever slept on, so don't expect that. However, they probably will um, furnish the bed, so they will put sheets and duna covers, which this mine has got at uh, in the wash by the sounds. Anyway, guys, we've got here what would typically come out to the mines. I've flown a million times in and out of the mines, and this is usually what you see. Average Joe who's either got a small bag or he's got a big bag and a small bag. Now, what I'd consider these two as is essential and non-essential stuff. So this kind of stuff you want to take out with you every time. And then the stuff that's in the bigger bag is sort of stuff that you, you could live without. If you didn't take it, you're not missing anything. So we'll go through what comes out every week, what or fortnight or month or however long your uh, mining roster will be. And then when you're flying in and out for a bit longer, sometimes you like a few extra luxuries and you bring these. So we'll start with this one over here and we'll explain as we go what we're taking out to the mines. I think the first and most important thing, the change of clothes. When you knock off, you might wanna go for a beer with the boys or something like that. You can stay in your work uniform if you really want to, but it's probably gonna be a little more comfortable. You take a change of clothes. Don't have to bring a pair of shoes, just a pair of thongs will do in the mines, unless they specifically say you need to wear shoes after work, which let's face it, nobody says that. So that's an important thing to take is a change of clothes, maybe a couple of pairs of jocks as well, because if you're working for a couple of weeks, you're not going to wear the same pair every day, are you? Um, but the other clothes are okay. You're also going to need to take your toiletries. So if you've got a shaver, if you're going to take your toothbrush and um, toothpaste, that kind of stuff, if you like to cut your hair while you're out there, take all your, your kind of stuff. A little bag like this is perfect for that little zip up bag, zip, done. I like to take that out. Now, some mines have got um, village rooms or camp rooms, whichever you'd like to call them, where you have a lockable cupboard and you can store this kind of stuff, which would make it a lot easier than having to bring it in and out every time. So you can leave a change of clothes and you can leave your toiletries and stuff like that specifically out there to save you having to take it in and out every time. Not that there's a lot in it. It doesn't need a big bag. When we're going out to the mines, it's also a good idea to take your mobile phone charger with the point that plugs into the wall because nine times out of 10, well, probably 10 times out of 10, let's be honest, they're not gonna provide you with something to charge your mobile phone. So that is a good idea to take that as well. Also, some of the mining villages and camps don't have phone service. So that's something you need to research before you fly in and out. Contact them or in the interview or whichever stage before you go out there, you wanna know if you're gonna have phone service. Some mines, have Telstra only, some mines have Optus only, some mines have both. So that's something worth making a phone call about there as well. These here are the last items that I would take every week, the house keys and also your room keys for your camp room. If you've already been there and stayed in your own room and that's sort of assigned to you, just chuck them on your house key ring, nice and easy. You're gonna need your wallet and you're gonna need your phone. 
Now, why would you need your wallet? Well, some camps have got uh, like a supply camp or a bar, if you will. Um, some of them supply alcohol, some of them don't. But most of them will have the basics there, like Panadol and you know chips and soft drink and things like that. If they're an uh, alcohol-free camp, they won't have any alcohol. So don't worry too much about that specifically. But all your, your cash and whatnot is also a good idea to take some cash. What I like to do is just chuck a little bit inside my phone cover. If I'm going to go out there that way, I don't need to forget about it. You've normally always got your phone on you. So there is my little entourage in a nice little bag that's not too too heavy and all of this stuff can be taken on the plane so you can just you don't even have to do a, a checked baggage if you take just this stuff with you to the mines however if you're going to go out to the mines for a longer stay you might need a bigger bag and if that's the case it's going to be a little more heavy than just your average bag while i've got you here have a look at that there talking Talkin is a mining specific app that you can go to if you're in the mining industry or if you're maybe even in the construction or even ag industry and you're looking for a bit of information on some of the machinery and equipment that you'll find within that industry. So you'll see here, you can talk about all kinds of different machinery, plant, and there's a society of people in there that can also comment and provide you with information. If you've got a problem with something, say you've got a machine and you're unsure of the technique or the tools that you might need to use to do a particular job, for example, then Talkin is the perfect way for you to get on there and get the information that you need when you want it. So have a look through. The link in the description will take you to Talkin. Download the app, there's no cost to it. Have a look through, join up, and um, add your information as well. If you've got some information to provide, then Talkin is the perfect app for the mining industry. This is what I would take if I was going to stay for a little bit longer or I wanted a little more stuff from home. Now, like I just said before, a lot of the bars in the mines don't sell alcohol. So if you wanna have a drink and you're allowed to drink on your own at your, your room, then bring your own alcohol and some soft drink to go with it, just in case. That way, if you want a beverage after work, a sly one on your own, you can definitely have one. That is something that you need to find out also in your job interview stage or in the, the post job interview stage when you've got the job, congratulations. Find out if you can actually drink when you're finished work. Some mines are completely alcohol free most mines these days will breath test every day before you go in. So you don't want to get on it and then find out at work that you just lost your job because you've had too much to drink. Research that one before you go. Every mine is different. Some mines are dry, some mines are not dry. The next thing that I would take if I wanted to spend a little bit more time after work having a bit of fun, I'll take the laptop, won't I? And a means of powering it. Why would I take that? Well. They're not going to provide you with a laptop and your own things to save. So if you're into the gaming or whatever, that's going to be of benefit to you. Again, keep in mind, if you don't have any phone service or a way of being able to get on the internet using your laptop, then it's a bit of a waste of time, but that's something that you can research. The last thing, it was probably not the last thing, but if I had to take my own work clothes, then I would definitely be taking the bigger bag because I know that they won't fit in there. If some mines don't offer any kind of storage for you to be able to keep all your personal items when you do fly back home and then come back to them. So you might have to take it in and out with you each time. So it's a good idea to take a uniform in a bigger bag. That way you, you're likely gonna take a couple more than just one uniform. You might take three or four, it depends how long you're staying out there. And that sort of coincides with your toiletries. You might put some laundry liquid and washing powder and stuff like that in there because you will need to launder your own clothing while you're out there. Some mines, specifically more the um, lead and zinc type stuff, they will launder your clothes for you because they wanna make sure the guys are going to work safe and sound and uh, not bringing that stuff into the camp with them. They, they go um, clean in, clean out. Some don't, so take your own laundry liquid, a way to wash your clothes, or something to wash your clothes with, I should say. 
And that, I think, ladies and gentlemen, is about it. So there's not too many things there. I would normally just take the small bag, and if you can, like I said, leave some of the things out there, the toiletries and whatnot. Even the phone charger, you could probably leave it out there. If you knew you were gonna be going back, if you had a permanent job, for example, then leave your phone charger out there, or buy one specifically to leave out there. That way you don't have to bring one every time. The bigger bag, bigger items. You wanna take a computer, a little bit of alcohol, stuff like that, maybe some stuff that you can't take on the plane, you know, there are things that they won't allow on the plane, then uh, you'll need to take them in checked baggage. So I hope I've been helpful, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, do all the usual stuff that everyone does when they get on YouTube. I appreciate your support, and I hope I've helped someone out. There's plenty of people that are new to the mining game, just got a job, or just going for a job interview, and I've been asked this question quite a lot, so I, I really hope I've helped someone by doing this video. Anyway, we'll catch you next time, guys. Take care.